Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up a delicious spaghetti squash dish. You know, I'm going to call it Spanish-style spicy spaghetti squash. I don't know, but we're going to put chorizo in it, Spanish-style chorizo. It's going to taste fantastic, but first thing, we're going to cut this squash in half. Begin first by spinning your squash in a counterclockwise direction. This will ensure the centrifugal authenticity of the squash. Then without fear or hesitation, using a sharpened blade, plunge it deep into the heart of the squash. The gourd may be stony and resistant, but do not be perturbed. In the unlikely event that your blade becomes transfixed within the gourd, the classic crotch pool should alleviate this problem. Should this not work, then a reliable underarm removal method will certainly suffice. Continue by seticating the squash in a lateral cutting motion. A squash worthy of your dining room table will not give up easily, but a determined circumferential cut will result inevitably into two happy halves of squash deliciousness. Alrighty, big shout out and uh, thanks to the Squash Council for uh, showing us how not to cut our spaghetti squash. But for what to do now, we go back to my lovely assistant, Camera Girl, who is disengorging, disemboweling the squash, taking out the innards if you see in season two of The Walking Dead then you will know what's happening right here. Uh, but once the uh, seeds and stuff are out of the spaghetti squash, get a shallow pan, put a thin layer of water, throw cut side down, your squash is on there, that didn't sound right. But anyway, slide it in the oven, 350 degrees for 45 minutes. While that's going on, we'll go ahead and uh, chop up a little bit of garlic and a lot of onion. We're using an onion. We got a little bit of red onion too uh, we're using here. You don't have to use different kinds of onion, just a whole lot of onion and you'll be fine. And then we're going to use some Spanish style chorizo. Now this dish is fantastic with this here. And we're just going to use a little bit. See this is an 8 ounce piece. And we're just going to use half of it. So we're just using 4 ounces. And you want to use this Spanish style. It's already cooked. It's kind of hard. It's almost like salami. Don't get the kind that needs to be cooked. Don't get the kind in the, in the casing that's like a fresh stuffed sausage. Because it's too oily. Get the kind that's like salami already cooked. Now after 45 minutes we can take a look at our squash you know and be careful uh, turning these things over because there'll be a lot of steam under them and you don't want to disfigure yourself but if your pork if your pork if your fork passes easily through the flesh of the squash then it's ready and we can get to the cooking part of this dish which isn't much cooking at all we're just going to throw these ingredients together our squash is already cooked the chorizo is already cooked basically we're just sauteing our onions and stuff up so heat you some olive oil medium high heat throw your onions in there stir them around give them a few minutes then you're going to throw the garlic and chorizo in there and you're going to want to leave the the chorizo in there for a few minutes let it soften up a little but the great thing about using this spanish style is that it's going to ha add a different texture to the dish you know because the uh, the the spaghetti squash is soft you know the onions are going to be kind of soft so having that, those little chunks of sausage is going to add a great flavor but it's going to add a nice texture too now we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning in here, but that's it. You know, there's plenty of seasoning already in the chorizo. So we're not going to add anything else. We're just going to saute these up for a few minutes, then add our spaghetti squash. And the reason it's called spaghetti squash is because, boom, check it out. You know, you just go ahead and the easiest way is to just scrape it out with a fork, but it comes out in these spaghetti-like strands. You know, and it, it's going to keep this, this texture and consistency even after we stir it up in here. So just get it in the skillet. It's already cooked. It's still hot. We're just going to mix it up with the chorizo and these onions right here. And then that's pretty much it, you know. We're going to add a little bit of cilantro for some flavor and some color. Use parsley if that's all you got for color. But cilantro really has a nice taste. And then some cheese if you like. You know, that's definitely optional. But uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese or some Asiago cheese shredded up. It's just delicious. And that's it. You know, this is a very easy dish to make. You know, the hardest part or the longest part about it is just waiting for the squash to cook. And you don't even have to do anything. Boom, slice it in half, throw it in the oven, you know, and then that's it, you know. And there you go. It's super duper delicious. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching. And that's it.